So here's what I want you to do for the next 24 hours. I want to challenge you to simply plan out a single day of eating. To do this every day, you're going to have to start writing things down. You're going to have to write things down daily. Great day. Welcome to your UB Fit Quick Tip. Today's UB Fit Quick Tip is about developing a daily eating plan. Listen, the first thing you're going to have to do is you got to fuel your body every day. Consider your body as a locomotive. It's a train that needs coal, and it, in order for that train to run, it needs coal, just like your body needs energy to keep it running every single day. So here's what I want you to do for the next 24 hours. I want to challenge you to simply plan out a single day of eating. To do this every day, you're going to have to start writing things down. You're going to have to write things down daily and make things happen and make yourself accountable to yourself. Next thing you need to do, throw out the junk food in your house, y'all. Get it out. Get it out. I call it your kryptonite. Just like Superman has kryptonite and a weakness, so do you. Get it out your house. Next thing, the food that you eat should energize you and empower you. So you need to set yourself up for success and not cloud your mind with all the garbage. You got to make sure that you eat food that's going to be good for your body and you got to choose the food wisely. Next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come up with some ideas of your daily eating plan. So some of your thought process for me would be breakfast, choose foods like eggs, egg whites, turkey, sausages, whole grain bread, cereal, fresh fruits. Listen, there's a ton of research out here that tells you you need to eat breakfast. Most people that eat breakfast are leaner, has less deficiencies, and has sharper thinking skills than people hit that don't. So make sure you eat your breakfast. Get it in. You got to get it in. Before lunch, you need to have a healthy snack. Good snacks could include um, yogurt, smoothies, nut butters, raw vegetables, uh, nuts, seeds, some fresh fruits. Lunch. Lunch time, y'all. You got to have some food again. Foods like lean proteins like tuna, poultry, deli meat, nitrate-free, folks, some greens, vegetables. Food that is going to be high in protein and make sure because at lunchtime, you know you start getting tired. So you want to eat food that's going to give you alert. You're going to consume less carbs. You're going to have that little dip where you start eating too many carbs and you're going to start getting slow. Before dinner, you need to get another snack. Snack on healthy protein snacks, smaller portions of protein, maybe some vegetables, maybe a piece of fruit. Try it in combination and reduce the amount of sugar to keep your, your levels consistent. Again, you're going to have, another, have to have another snack before dinner because you can't go without eating those foods throughout the day. Because if you don't, guess what happens? Then all of a sudden your blood sugar starts to drop, you start to get fatigued, you start to lose focus. So you got to make sure you have some snacks and not sweets, y'all, because that's going to increase your blood sugar level and it's going to drop your energy level. Next thing, you can't skip meals. When you skip meals, it's going to slow down your, meta your metabolism. And next thing you know, you're going to have fat stores and you're going to have problems with drowsiness, concentration. Now it's dinner time, y'all. So now you're going to have some more high protein foods. Focus on lean proteins, tuna, poultry, deli meat, nitrate free. Some greens, other vegetables, plus maybe some starchy carbs, maybe some red potatoes, sweet potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, um, whole, grain, whole grain pasta. And you got to load up on your vegetables. Make sure you got vegetables that are rich in antioxidants and make sure you do that because it's going to slash some of the diseases. Vegetables are good, y'all. Now, when you eat your vegetables, choose the rainbow. What does that mean, Wallace? That means look at your, your color count. Eat five to six vegetables with different colors every day. Purple, cabbage, red peppers, bell peppers, green lettuce, spinach, carrots, beans, pumpkin seeds. The foods of choice just maximize your nutrition. And yes, now it's time for dinner. You want to have a snack after dinner? Yes, you can. It's a myth, y'all. You can have a snack after dinner. Because it's not, look, there's plenty of studies that show you that people that eat at evening snack has burned the same amount of calories as anybody else has had a similar meal during the day. So you can enjoy your snacks at night, but don't indulge, especially if you didn't have anything during the day, because guess what's going to happen? Now your metabolism is going to go in the wrong way, in a negative way. So now snacks. Hey, Wallace, that's good, but you got to make sure they're snacks that have high protein. Snacks like an almond, you could have almond, but, uh, almond milk, 
with berries, raw vegetables, nut butter, seeds, fresh fruits, late night snacks. Because guess what? You're going to get something that's called serotonin. And that's that feel good uh, chemical that helps you go forward to sleep better. So you want to get some sleep? Good. Now you're saying, thanks, Wallace. That means I can have some late night snacks. No, I didn't say that. You got to eat some healthy snacks. That don't mean you could have any snack. That means don't eat all this highly processed snack food. Forget it. You want to be able, to be able to focus. Just focus, y'all. Make sure that you focus on foods that is going to be good for your body. Foods that you want to avoid is the food that I said before is like your kryptonite. The ones that you should be kicking out the house. Remember? Kick it out the house first. Get it out your fa- Get it out the house. Avoid that junk food. Highly processed foods. Anything that's white bread. Anything that's white flour. Sugary foods. Sodas. Drinks. Deep fried stuff. Get it out. Non-stop. Gotta go. It gotta go. Make your eating plan. You gotta you make sure that you eat good food because otherwise you're gonna fall short. You're gonna lose that energy. You make sure you get a variety of nutrients in your body every single day. That includes you gotta exercise. So that's your challenge. The challenge is for the next 24 hours, simply plan out a single day of eating. Then do this every day. Write it down and write it down every single day. When you write it down every single day, it makes you accountable. And when you're accountable, it keeps you in track of what you need to do. Those daily eating habits is is important for your success. That was fast. That was quick. Wanted to get it in for you. Hope it made sense. I know it made sense because I said it. You got to just focus on what your plan is going to be. The only plan you should have is for you. Everybody's going to be completely different. Focus on you. Focus on you. Just focus on you. Then you can focus on everybody else. That made sense. That's my UB Fit quick tip. Have a great day. And yes, of course, UB Fit.